it's been a long long time since i made a youtube video but here i am <laughs> i started this channel in 2013 because i love watching speed painting videos and time lapse videos but i didn't see a lot of diversity in the content at the time so i said you know what let me create the art that i want to see and i did for about six years or so i would um, post myself creating artwork and commissions that I worked on if for no other reason because I loved watching them <laughs> like I enjoyed the process of creating and I like watching other creators make their work so what happened <laughs> where have I been you might be asking especially if you've been with me for a while right um, so in short I got burnt out not just with YouTube but also with the art that I was creating as a whole I wasn't completely satisfied with what I was producing and I was really trying to find my voice as an artist. I honestly didn't have a direction for the art that I was making and I felt like I had to meet the expectations of other people to be successful as an artist. It was a whole thing, <laughs> a whole very stressful thing. And as a creative, trying to keep up with what I felt like were the demands of other people, even, even if they really weren't, <laughs> but in my mind, they were the demands of other people and trying to create the things that I thought other people wanted to see was so exhausting. The whole process was really steeped in insecurities and fears of just doing me. Not to say that I didn't enjoy the art at all, because obviously some part of me was present in the artwork, as with all artwork, you can always tell something about the creator by looking at what they create. Um, but I had gotten to the point where I wasn't expressing myself from an honest, not a completely honest and transparent perspective. All the while, having all of these like dream projects and things that I wanted to do and to create. Hey Bob, it's my cat. <laughs> hey Bob. Okay, um, but I was too afraid to fully commit. And by the time I posted my last video, which I'll link in the description, I had made my mind up to finally start working on myself okay <laughs> i'm back all right so um so yeah i had decided to actually dive into the dream projects and to take a break really from youtube as a whole um but here comes fear <laughs> fear comes knocking at the door like hey 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 wait 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 hold on before you do that thing that you really want to do let's go do some other stuff instead so i was applying for public arts commissions and um residencies and working on things that I, would all of which would fall through like nothing <laughs> during this time was working out for me and i know that i was supposed to have been working on this dream project because i had made up my mind to do that and because every other avenue <laughs> had been blocked like something was pushing me in the direction to create the things that i really wanted to create and just like starting a youtube channel to be able to watch videos i wanted to see things were falling apart for me creatively to force me in this direction um, and to finally jump out there. And that's what I did. So after all of that, I'm finally, finally saying, okay, forget all of this other stuff. Let's do this dream project or one of my dream projects. And so around October of 2019, um, I had done a convention, the Memphis Comic Expo, and I saw some of you guys there, um, especially some of you that's been kind of keeping up with me for a long time. And you asked me where I'd been, like I hadn't been posting to YouTube regularly, I hadn't really been keeping up with social media that much. Um, and for the first time, I vocalized to someone outside of my family that I am going to create a tarot deck and that I might be putting some things aside in order to do it, you know, again, trying to think or thinking to myself that I had to meet the expectations of people. But saying it out loud that I'm gonna make this tarot deck made it real. And it was like, oh hell, <laughs> now that I'm telling people this and I'm actually putting it out there, that means that I gotta do it. And I stuck to it. And uh, the following month uh, of November, the same year i completed my first car the high priestess now this car holds near and dear to me and has its own backstory and certainly had its fair share of challenges to be the first card i was working on in this deck but i got it done and i've been sticking with it ever since now i got a little overly ambitious about how long this project was going to take me to do um and i gotta admit that <laughs> i got really ambitious about it right so some backstory um not I am a huge 
tarot nerd, right? I love tarot. I'm a huge um, tarot enthusiast. Oracles as well in other cartomancy systems and divination practices as a whole. Um, this is just a part of who I am. I've been into these things for a really long time, but I wasn't, uh, I kept a lot of it to myself really. And as an enthusiast and also as an artist, like it only makes sense that I create a deck. So uh, as a reader, and I'm also a reader, so I should say that as well. So as a reader, one of the things that I love to do is to study tarot and to just listen to different spiritual podcasts and gather information. And so one day I'm listening to Bridget Esselmont's podcast. And for those of you who don't know who Bridget Esselmont is, she is the owner of Bitty Tarot, which is one of the largest like tarot and spiritual business databases on the internet. Um, and she's interviewing the creator, the illustrator for her deck, the everyday tarot and i swear every time i listen to biddy's podcast and abraham hicks and i don't know if y'all are familiar with abraham hicks but that's a whole nother thing but anytime i listen to these podcasts and this information like i get super duper pumped up like okay it is possible for me to do be successful doing the thing i love so she's interviewing the uh, artist eleanor grosh and um eleanor is saying oh wow i was so excited about uh, creating your deck and before I had signed the paperwork, you know, I had already got a jump start on it and all in all, it took me about six months to create. And I'm thinking, okay, six months, I could do six months. <laughs> like I was like, sure. <laughs> like if that's the timeline, I maybe it might take me six to eight, but in that year span, I should be all right, <laughs> right? So at the same convention that I saw some of you guys at, I met another artist, um, Yoshi Yoshitani, whose deck I was also quite excited about, right? And I got a chance to ask her about her project. And she says, well, yeah, you know, it's coming. Um, come along slowly, but surely, you know, they say it takes three to five years to, cre to create a deck. And I'm thinking, three to five years? <laughs> like, girl, they out here knocking these things out in six months. Like, man, I know it ain't gonna take me three to five years. <laughs> but here we are in November, uh, here we are in 2022. And November of this year makes three years <laughs> that I've been doing this. And it's not like I've been twiddling my thumbs these three years. Uh, since its inception, I've actually published my first book, What the Bleeper Shadows. I've also published two journals available not only on my website, but on Amazon Prime as well. My art has become much more focused and cohesive, and I'm enjoying creating again. But I am still working on this tarot deck. So um, I figured I'd bring you guys along for the ride. So I'm a little late introducing myself, but if you're new here, my name is B. Lewis. I'm an artist, author, and tarot enthusiast, and this is my journey to completion for the project, The Cosmic Gateways Tarot. Now, I want to start a new series of videos um, that will focus mostly on my creative process and overall thought, thought process um, for the remaining bunch of cars <laughs> i'm hesitant to say how many cars i have left because it's a lot it really is and i know that there are people who have been following along with me since 2019 for this project and uh, it's kind of hard to tell y'all like exactly where i am but it's neither here nor there this is where we are in this moment and i would be delighted to have you guys come along for the ride and um so this is the beginning of that journey uh, so please, <laughs> I love to see you here again, but in the comments below, let me know if there's something that you have been itching to do, like you have been really wanting to do this and for whatever reason, maybe you haven't done it. Tell me what that is and tell me what's holding you back. And if you have finally jumped out there and done something that you really wanted to do, tell me about that. If you got some tips, <laughs> baby, listen, <laughs> I promise I am all ears for anything to help and i'm sure it will help some people who will read your comments as well so until next time this is b lewis and i leave you with this quote